Hey there. Um, you are probably on this site right now wondering what in the hell am I supposed to do with these icons? So uh, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use them, how I use them, and I'm going to let you know, let you in on a little secret, okay? Is I made this page for me. So I was just tired of going and looking for icons to make our data studio reports sparkle. So uh, instead of doing that, I'm just going to upload the ones I use here, and I'm going to have another category that's like my favorites, um, just the ones that I use, so I can even find them faster. So it's not for you, it's for me, but I'm just gonna let you use it. So let's just hop right into it. So let's just say you've got a beautiful data studio report. This is not that, I'm just gonna show you how to build one, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from the top and just show you what it looks like, right? So first thing is, to First, as we always say here, is we need to open up Data Studio VIP, right? Go to icons right here, and you are gonna be in business real quick, right? So you can see all these icons, you can go sort through them, you should be on this page right now. Boom, right? What you're gonna do, go over here, we're gonna make a new page, right? We got this page right here, we're gonna call it advertising. Um, and then, if you go right here, to the icons page and you want to say for example come over here to platforms grab the good old facebook icon hit copy on that come over here image by url paste that sucker in hit insert bada bing bada boom you are good to go right so now you have these fast so for example let's just say you wanted to really quickly make an advertising report you can put this up here put facebook grab a scorecard from over here, let's just say we wanted to have uh, page views, which was actually revenue. Uh, ignore the fact that that's Google Analytics. Um, we can do this. Obviously, this is now Facebook, or Facebook page views. Um, and then we are good to go. Let's just add in another one. Let's just say we wanted to grab the Instagrams or the, actually, let's grab the LinkedIn. You know, we're gonna be fancy today. So what you can do is highlight those, right click, duplicate, grab it over here, move it over, delete that, add in a new image by URL, paste that in. We are hunting and going, right? So we got these pages all set and done. And then we'll just make it look a little more sexy by adding a background. So. If you didn't know how to do this yet, here's how you can. Just make a little box. What we're gonna do is, I like it to have some, some padding there, some oomph. Hold shift and you can move it to any amount of pixels. Fun fact, make this thing white. Put the uh, this on 10, add a drop shadow, copy that, paste it over, put it over here. Make it line up, I'll select them both, right click, align vertically to top. Now select them both, hold shift, right click, and you can do send to back. Or you can hit command option down, and now we got something that look is looking kinda pretty, right? So now if we go to view mode, there we go, we got our icons all there. Um, I'm gonna add some more so you can use them as you wish, but that's how you add them. That's how you build a rapport. And I just am excited to have these for myself so I don't have to go hunting for all of the arrows and graphs and platforms. If you have a BigQuery chart, just copy the BigQuery chart and put that in and let people know it's powered by BigQuery um, so that you can then be wilding out, showing people that you have the cutest charts on the face of the earth because that's what we're going for actionable, sexy dashboards, right? So, all right, hope it was helpful. Um, I will see you guys around. Feel free to use the icons, I guess, behind this image if you're watching this. Um, and let me know if you have any thoughts. All right, talk to you later. See ya.